I'm Gail Jones. I'm a professor here at the Friday Institute for Educational Innovation, and I am involved in research, teaching, and doing service with the schools in North Carolina. So ZSpace is a virtual reality system that also includes haptic or touch feedback that allows students to not only see, manipulate, but also feel things um, that are actually in the computer, but the images of whatever it is they're looking at project up outside of the computer system and allows the student to manipulate them in three-dimensional space, dissect them, take them apart, and uh, learn more about things like the anatomy and physiology of the heart or the inner workings of a machine, a motor, or to look at circuits and see how circ parallel and series circuits work. We're using ZSpace with our work with public schools to help middle school, high school students engage and learn in science. So we also use it as part of our extension activities with schools in the area and across the region. Students were lining up to really participate and really have a chance to engage with this technology. And to me, that, that really means something very special, that these students are not only interested in my research, but they're really wanting other ways to learn um, outside of the traditional means. And they're really, they really enjoy technology. So it's a nice way of, of bonding with them and, and helping their teachers in schools to give them this very unique experience that likely they would not have otherwise. I think it's going to help like a lot of kids learn more and get interested in learning. Because you can, you can have like all the resources, but if you don't make it fun for them to learn, they might learn it like today, but the next day they're just going to forget because they don't want to know it. Like for example with the heart, it's vibrating, the stylus is vibrating like a pulse. And you can, I think you can put the pulse up so it starts vibrating more so you can know more about the pulse and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I do believe that the new kinds of computing technology like virtual reality are probably here to stay. And the kind of work that we're doing in partnership with the schools and in partnerships with the businesses that are putting this together allow us to go in and engineer the next generation of tools that will help students learn science better.